I am Dr. Jonathan Zelk, board certified plastic surgeon and CEO and founder of Z Plastic Surgery in Newport Beach, California. Today I'd like to discuss rhinoplasty surgery. Rhinoplasty is the art of changing the shape or size of the nose. Through a series of carefully designed operations, we can either enlarge or reduce or simply change the shape of your nose. There's both functional and aesthetic improvement with rhinoplasty surgery, and therefore it's my favorite operation to perform. Rhinoplasty is really designed now to enhance your own natural beauty. Historically, rhinoplasty was designed to westernize the nose for certain ethnic or religious groups, but now that's outdated. Therefore, all these parameters and angles and proportions and shapes that we were taught in plastic surgery training may or may not be outdated based on your goals and the remaining harmony of your face. Before your surgery, you'll need to come in for an examination. I'd like to carefully evaluate your medical history to make sure that outpatient surgery is safe for you. I'd also like to know a history of trauma and whether or not you've had rhinoplasty surgery in the past. This will help me safely determine a surgical plan for you. On physical examination, I can take all the measurements I want, but ultimately I want you to tell me what it is that bothers you most. Point out the one, two, or even three areas that you feel should be addressed during the operation. I can look at clinical objective findings such as airway patency through maneuvers such as a caudal maneuver that, eval that evaluates your nasal airway patency. I can also take a speculum and look in your nose and see whether or not there's obstruction. All these can factor into whether or not insurance can help contribute to the cost of rhinoplasty surgery as well as your set your expectations for functional and aesthetic results. Although I'm your plastic surgeon, you the patient are equally important in determining your surgical plan. Surgery, whether it be augmentative or reductive in nature, can be performed through either an external or internal approach. The external or open approach places a small scar at the base of your nose, but allows excellent exposure to the tip as well as the remaining cartilages and bones of your nose. Therefore, it's my favorite and I can affect the best changes through this approach. For more minor work or reductive rhinoplasty, the closed approach does place a scar on the inside of your nose, which is imperceptible to the naked eye. Regardless of the approach, the rhinoplasty procedure involves manipulation of the cartilage and bone of your nose. Through these approaches, we can augment or widen these valves inside your nose to improve airway patency or to reinforce the structures in your nose to improve the strength, stability, and projection of your nose. At the end of the operation, I will place silicone splints inside your nose as well as an external cast to reinforce the changes we've made. Recovery after rhinoplasty surgery really varies. It depends on how much was done during the operation as well as your expectations and occupation. Public speakers who rely on their facial appearance for their occupation may need about three to four weeks after surgery before they feel that they can present themselves confidently. Most other patients who are entrepreneurs or stay-at-home moms can tolerate the changes after surgery after the external nasal splint is removed at about one week. Those patients generally can conceal the changes of surgery with a pair of sunglasses or cover-up. A lot of patients complain that they have slight changes of smell and this can persist for four to six weeks and other patients note that there's swelling in their tip that can persist for up to four to six months. At Z Plastic Surgery we treat patients from a variety of different backgrounds and ethnicities. We really appreciate and celebrate the anatomic differences and the cultural nuances that exist. If you've had a history of prior trauma and you feel that your airway patency has been compromised, in some cases insurance can contribute to the cost of surgery but this has to be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. For other patients who have had surgery in the past and you feel that you're unhappy with the result or that you've been botched, come to me for a further evaluation. I'd be happy to examine your nose, set your expectations, and offer you a revision strategy. In all cases, I encourage you, if you have additional questions, to call my office at 949-432-4730. I would love to see you for a consultation. You can also visit my website at www.zplasticsurgery.com. Have a great day.